Hi everyone, hope you can hear me over the rain. Uh, this is Dakes Takes a Hike and today I'm in uh, a rather wet and windy grass mere. I'm going to do a small uh, trek today to Eastdale Town where I'm going to try and wild camp. It's, I mean, yeah, that. it's not the best is it? Um, <laughs> I must be mad. All I can say is, uh, what a difference 20 minutes makes. Because it's <laughs> it speaks for itself, doesn't it? Hang on. Can they get rid of me? Hang on. There we go. So here we are, Easdale Town. Nobody around. Stunning. Look at that. I'm going to head around to the other bank, I think. I'll find somewhere to pitch over there. Oh, look at this. Wow. guys um, so this is the tent I brought today this is the Durston XMID Pro 2 it's a Dyneema fabric 
uh, two person tent and it, it's pretty roomy it weighs about I think it's about 650 grams give or take I'll have to double check that um, I'll show you inside it's got doors on either side and good size vestibule on each side plenty of headroom and uh, that's uh, taking that's a long earth murmur s out and that's taking that quite easy a couple of pockets there's nowhere to hang your light though which is <laughs> a bit a bit disappointing I have to say but I think I'll forgive it okay I've had this now about five weeks maybe six um, this is the first outing with it so so I've added a, a few extra guy lines on the uh, the points that it's got on there just because um, it was forecast for quite breezy uh, breezy winds tonight I think in the uh, 25 ish so miles per hour that is and I think I'll be all right. Got a reasonable spot in the uh, walk backwards. It's like something out of a comedy film. Just a little bit further back, me down the down the L. Uh, there we go. If I can just pan round. This is Easdale Town. And it's absolutely lovely. It's just solitude. Having that aeroplane flying over. <laughs> Please. I'm trying to film me. Here comes the rain again. <laughs> Man, it's, it's really loud. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, I'm getting to see it in all weathers <laughs> in one day. Um, wow. I don't know if you can hear me on the last recording. I was saying it's really loud and I can only imagine that it's because it's quite taut and it's very thin and it's a single skin that that's exactly what you get um, but I'm dry and I'm comfortable and I'm loving every minute <laughs> Thank you very much kids that is uh, splendid thank you so back to the show um, I think we're getting a bit of the wind now <laughs> a little bit of rain but more wind now than we had before it's all happening bring it on I'm having hot pot. It's really, 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 really good. Oh yeah. There we go. The uh, 
the little pocket's really handy. Um, yeah, I mean, what can I say? And subtitles, definitely need in this uh, tremendous noise. <laughs> oh well. The doctor is in the house, or the tent. So, uh, a little update on the hanging light loop, which these tents don't seem to have. Um, I've just hung mine on the top of my walking pole uh, on the strap. It's not ideal because you've got to open the zip from the inner to be able to operate your light, but at least it's kind of hanging from a good height, which is uh, better than up lighting, I think. So if anyone's got a better idea, please let me know. Oh, good morning. That was uh, an interesting night's sleep. <laughs> the uh, the wind was uh, pretty entertaining. But, uh, they're still intact. So I think it's about... 20 past five, so it's time to uh, get a quick brew on, pack this up and head off. Right then, all packed up and raring to go. Leave no trace, job done. Splendid morning, a little bit changeable the weather. Every now and again we get a shower but anyone uh, interested this is a Gossamer Gear Gorilla 50 um, a lightweight pack it's got a very uh, minimal frame inside it um, it kind of focuses on having this foam pad in the back which you can use as a seating pad I chose not to do that only because the first time I tried to take the thing out of the uh, back of the bag it took me a while, it took me a while to get it back in I figured that for an extra 40 grams or so what's, what's the point of uh, messing about with that but I'm sure it'll appeal to some people um, What do I think? I think it's a really cool bag it's very very lightweight I think it's around 800 grams again, I could be wrong but it's not far off that it's got plenty of uh, pouches and pockets on the hip belt so it's 50 litres this one, which is the smallest pack of, I've uh, ever bought. It is no way waterproof, uh, I'll tell you that for nothing. I got a good drenching on the way here and um, water was inside the bag. Now I used a, um, a stuff sack, a 35 litre stuff sack for most of the things in there and then some smaller bags for the other belongings, uh, which was good idea <laughs> it turned out um, but other than that I can't fault it I'm really uh, impressed uh, yeah cheers So I managed to get my overall pack weight down to 
11 and a half kilos for this outing, which is substantially less than the last outing. to a fella who thought it was on another hill. <laughs> I don't think I'm that far out. But uh, hey, it's that grim up here. I'll uh, forgive anyone if they're wrong, including me. Bag ripper of a fence right there. Oh, wow. 
to the troll bridge. <laughs> so that's all folks. Uh, it's been an interesting outing with the weather. I've not seen it like this before where it's so changeable. Um, but it's been really, really lovely. So until the next time, keep safe, happy trekking. This is Dakes Takes a Hike. See you next time. <laughs>